Hi, my name is Ana Maria Teresa Ramores of BS Criminology 2 and I will be your reporter for today's lesson. I will discuss the camera lenses and the standard and special camera lenses. A camera lens serves as the eye of a camera and is probably the most important part of a camera. So by definition, camera lens is a glass plastic or crystal optical element molded into a curved shape that can bend and focus rays of light. It is responsible for focusing the rays of light coming from the subject. The lens is understood as a curved and transparent piece of glass or plastic which focuses and refracts light rays in a certain manner. The curvature of the object ascertains the extent to which light is bent and in which direction. Based on the shape, the lens can be grouped as a convex lens or concave lens. The former brings together the parallel beam of light while the latter disperses it. To define convex lens, this refers to the lens which merge the light rays at a particular point that travels through it. Due to the thicker center of convex lenses, the objects are seen larger and closer. Some examples of it are magnifying glass, glasses, and microscope. On the other hand, concave lens refers to the lens which disperses the light rays around that hits the lenses, whose thin center causes the object to look farther and smaller. Some examples of it are binoculars, telescope, and flashlight. So, if you are wondering how does lenses work on a camera, watch this video. The how a lens works. Light passes into the lens and through different glass shapes called lens elements. These elements slightly bend or refract the light, so it lands on a focal point on an image sensor. This is where a picture is created. Every lens is distinguished by its focal length expressed in millimeters, such as a 50 millimeter lens. Some common focal lengths range from the wide 17 millimeter lens to the narrow 200 millimeter lens. In simple terms, lenses work similarly to the human eye and allow us to control the amount of light that enters in a camera. Inside each lens is a series of convex and concave optical elements that work together to bend light and refract it in a single sharp focal point. Every lens has a specific focal point or magnification number which is measured in millimeters. This is normally displayed on the lens itself. The longer the focal length, the higher the magnification. Otherwise, the shorter the focal length, the lower the magnification. Let's take a look at examples. Here, the image was captured using four lens. As you can see, the image looks blurred. And the other picture was captured with a high quality lens. So definitely, the image becomes great and sharp. In that case, we can see how important the lens is in a camera. It seems like that the quality of an image depends on the quality of a lens. Even we use a cheap camera, we can still capture an appealing photographs if we will use a good quality lenses. That is why photographers consider the camera lens as an important component of a camera. So now we will proceed to the standard camera lenses that can be used in photography. So first there is standard or normal lens. This lens has a focal length that is roughly equivalent to the diagonal of the light sensitive image regarding area within the camera. They usually have wide maximum apertures making them useful in low light situations. This lens is also similar to what our eyes see because of our cone of visual attention and it limits what we're actually focusing on within our field of view. 
Next, there is a wide angle lens. This lens has a focal length shorter than the diagonal of the film frame or image sensor. It provides a broader angle of view than a standard lens and is therefore ideal for photographing a group of people or when working in confined space. However, distortion may be a problem if the lens is used too close to the subject. There is also a long focus lens that has a focal length that is much greater than the diagonal of the film or image format with which it is used. Longer focal lengths are useful for taking large images of distant subject or when unable to move close enough to the subject to use a shorter lens. Then we have zoom lens that has a variable focal length and it allows fine tuning of subject framing by adjusting the focal length of the lens. This magnifies or demagnifies the subject to bring them closer to or further from the audience. So if we're going to shoot a zoom shot to your film project, you'll need a lens, zoom lens rather. And now, I am going to discuss the special camera lenses that are designed for the 35mm format. First, we have mirror lens. It uses a combination of glass elements and mirrors that bounce the light up and down the lens barrel, manipulating the light rays to allow a long focal length to be contained within a physically short space. The compact design reduces the bulk and weight associated with extreme long focus lenses. So next we have ultra wide angle lens which have a focal length ranging from around 21 mm down to around 15 mm. An example of this is the fish eye lens which has a very wide angle lens that produces distorted view of the world. Then there is shift lens, which is also sometimes called a perspective control lens. It can be shifted off center in relation to the film frame so that the correct perspective can achieve when photographing converging vertical lines such as tall building. Then macro lens. These lens are designed to render a subject with 1 is to 1 or higher magnification for very close focusing distances. They are useful in taking close-ups of small subjects or isolating details of larger subjects because they allow the camera to focus extremely close to a subject to record a detailed image. Also, we have telephoto lenses. This lens has a focal length longer than the diagonal of the film frame or image sensor. Telephoto lenses make a subject appear larger on a film than a normal lens at the same camera to subject distance. They also have a shallower depth of field than wide angle lenses. These lenses are usually used by sports photographers who frequently use monopod for support and maneuverability.